welcome back to my youtube channel is your girl chini if this is your first time seeing me here you're most welcome thank you for clicking to this video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back to watch me again and welcome back to my channel so guys from my last video you will know that i'm a law student if you've not seen that video i'm going to leave a card or a link at the end of the video so that you can check it out so because i'm a law student and i know that there are a lot of assumptions about law students out there so i decided to be answering three popular assumptions about law students the first one is the most popular you get to see or hear this assumption next to the fact that this person is a law student and that is the law students are proud guys i feel like there are three categories of law students out there the first category are people who are proud by nature these people just love to intimidate people love to make people feel less of themselves love to assert that they have you know they are superior to people and that is because of their nature not because they are studying law okay they even try to do this with their own fellow classmates or their fellow law students or people from the same profession as they are so it is not because they are studying law that have made them proud but because they show up this kind of character outside people will just conclude that all law students are like that which is not true the second category of people or of law students is the ones that because they are studying law they are now you know misusing it or acting out these people this set of people are like the worst they they use stores thoughts in the classroom to intimidate people let's just take for an example right law when you hear law or the law student you just know that their vocabulary like Big, big words are going to be in their vocabulary. Even in our law textbooks or in our law notebooks, words are constructed in such a way that people who are not studying this course, people who are laymen may not understand it at first glance. You might need to read it once or twice again to even understand what the sentence is talking about. Or you might even need to use a dictionary to check out some words for you to understand the sentence there. But this set of people they decide to misuse it i'm not i'm just going to talk about using big big words but there are a lot of things that they can also do because they have been taught in class and then they just come out and misuse them but these words <laughs> but using big words are like one big catch when you go out when they go out and you have issue with them instead of them to resolve it in like in a peaceful way they want to escalate the whole thing make people like draw people's attention and then begin to use like big big words on you just to intimidate you their intention is to intimidate you they keep doing this and if you're someone who gets intimidated if someone uses big words you will fall into this like you will just fall into their trap and then they keep doing this they just keep doing this and most times yeah most of the times they will succeed once you just hear them speak you know that okay this person is a law student that is just how it is this set of people if you step on them if you know lost them if they know you too well and you step on them a normal person will just call your attention to it look you stepped on me and then you apologize but this set of people they will just escalate the whole thing they will make it into a big issue just for people like just to gain people's attention so that they can scream at you and throw words at you so that you get intimidated and just walk away this set of people are like the worst set of people and then the last set of people are the normal people people who just let their personalities shine people who, who are just normal so these people are the people who actually suffer these stereotypes so much because they are just they just so at themselves like they just act as how god has given them their personality 
but then people will just still throw those stereotypes at them and be like oh she's a lost then she will be like this or she's a, he's a lost then he will be like this and this sort of people they just suffer this stereotype the most because they can differentiate people from the first two categories and they are very sure that they are not in that category but people do not understand this so if you have ever been in a situation or if if you've ever met any of these three categories of law students let me know in the comment box and tell me which one you have experienced the next point guys is that female law students love or only date male law students that is not even true that is not true but what i see from my own faculty i am um, studying in best of you what i see is that law students female law students male law students they like to go to other faculties to actually find girlfriends or date people see people will date people that they are uh, they have something in common with people that they like people that they enjoy their company not because you're studying the same course as them how many lawyers how many female lawyers actually marry male lawyers in the world like anyway, let's just say 10 percent so you will agree with me that this is not even true this is not true at all and the last point guys is the law students like faculty of law have fine girls like yes we are fine like we have a lot of beautiful girls people that are endowed people that are just so brainy people that are not only there to study law people who are entrepreneurs we just have a lot of brains and beauty and everything what have you so we've come to the end of this video i really wanted this video to be short i hope it was so um don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell button and change the setting to all so that you get notified anytime a video is posted in this channel and like this video comment on this video please leave a comment i would like to know what's on your mind what just leave a comment and with that being said i will see you guys in my next video bye y'all